First, beaten with a pair of nunchucks. I remember standing right here and getting hit. What led up to an unusual attack? The 6 o'clock news starts now. Good evening and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Pete Ferryman. Nora Hart has the night off. A Portland man is recovering after he says someone attacked him with nunchucks. Fox 12's Brenna Kelly spoke with the victim today who says it was the last weapon he expected to see. A week and a half ago, Jason Smith was coming home with family and friends from his dad's birthday party when he says he found a man rummaging through the pickup they've been trying to sell. I said, well, the truck's not advertised, you know, and you can't see it from the street. You know, what, why would you have the doors open and the hood up? Nobody's around anyways, you know. No, no trespassing signs on the fans. Smith says he was with a friend, so they approached the man who said he wanted to buy the truck and he had the cash, $1,700 to be exact, even though no price was listed on the for sale sign. He couldn't find his wallet, whatnot. Right then I knew that, mm, no, <laughs> this guy's here to steal it. The man had a backpack stuffed to the brim. He threw it in the bed of the truck to pull something out. But that's when Smith says his friend noticed a weapon. I heard my buddy Larry say, you know, something, something, nunchucks, and uh, after that it was went quick. <laughs> Smith says he was smacked over the head with nunchucks and then hit with them on his back. I remember standing right here and getting hit and staggered back. While blood was dripping from Smith's head, blinding him, his friends and family wrestled the man to the ground, grabbing his nunchucks. At that point, Smith knew the man wasn't getting the truck or hurting anyone else. The only fear that I had was that I was running out of blood. 